right microwave and radio wave are key for the wireless world we can call these waves as invisible cords which has replaced almost all physical wires in this video we will discuss about microwave and radio wave these waves are part of electromagnetic spectrum the electromagnetic spectrum is the range of frequencies of electromagnetic radiation these radiation are generated by synchronized oscillation of electric and magnetic fields that propagate at the speed of light in the vacuum which is called electromagnetic waves radio waves have the range from 1 mm to 10s to 3 m and frequency of 300 gigahertz to 3 kilohertz microwave are a form of electromagnetic radiation with wavelength ranging from 1 m to 1 mm and frequency between 300 megahertz to 300 gigahertz now let's have a look at this coffee bar what these people are doing they are having coffee and reading what it's obvious people go to coffee bar to have coffee no my friend now look at this picture the scenario has been changed now people go to coffee bar to have coffee but notice this these people are having easy access to the internet so what make this happen it's wifi my friend then what is wifi wifi is the term referred to ieee 802.11 communication standards for wireless local area network it connects electronic devices to each other and to the internet with the use of radio waves it all started in 1888 when german physicist henrik hertz discovered radio signal in his lab and after 6 years in 1894 sir oliver lodge sent the first message using radio waves wickes who is known as father of wifi introduced 802.11 basic standards now let's enter in technical world of wifi when we search ieee.org on mobile this information is translated into radio signal by wireless adapter of mobile this data on the signal will have a particular address to access the information from the server this radio signal is now transmitted through an antenna given in the device to the wifi router the main function of router is to receive data signal and send it in appropriation direction this process of forwarding data packet is called routing we can understand this process in simple simulation the router switch directs the signal data in a particular way in this case to the modem the router is connected to the modem by physical wire or a cable the data entered in modem is in digital form but the ethernet cable is only able to send data in analog form to convert the data from digital to analog form modem is used now this analog data travel down the phone line to the antenna this antenna will forward this analog data waves to the internet server in the form of radio waves now finally the data packet go to the address and after collecting the information it goes back on the same path to the device screen on this written path the modem converts the waves into digital form and the router directs the data to the device and it all happens in fraction of second Wi-Fi technology has made positive societal impact due to some distinctive advantages like convenience, mobility, productivity, expandability, cost effectiveness. A research held in America says 29% people were online, which increased to 71% after the Wi-Fi was introduced. Thank you for watching this video.